All right, everyone, welcome back for another deep dive. You know, we talk a lot about feeling our best, and today we're tackling something that's, well, it's everywhere, right? Cholesterol. We're diving into the what, the why, and the what to do about it. And let me tell you, I learned a ton prepping for this one. It's definitely one of those topics that can seem a bit like a mystery. Totally. Like, is it a good guy, bad guy situation? What's the deal with all those letters, HDL, LDL? It's easy to get lost. So, to help us break it down, we've got a fantastic expert with us today. Happy to be here. Cholesterol is definitely worth understanding because when you get down to it, it's really about protecting your heart, your brain, your overall well-being. It's not just a number on a page. That's what I kept thinking as I was reading through all this info. Like, okay, numbers are one thing, but what's the story behind them? So, first things first, and this surprised me. Our bodies actually need cholesterol to function. It's not inherently this big bad villain. It's true. It's easy to get caught up in the cholesterol is bad narrative, but it's actually essential. So help me out here. What's the deal? Why do we need it? Think of cholesterol like um, building blocks, like the bricks and mortar of our cells. You know, that waxy substance they always talk about. It helps our cells hold their shape, and it's crucial for them to communicate with each other. It's kind of like... I don't know, the foundation of our cells. Exactly. It's all about structure and communication. Now, here's the thing. Our bodies are pretty amazing. Our liver, it actually produces all the cholesterol we need. Oh, so we're already making it ourselves. We are, but we also get cholesterol from our diet, mostly from animal products. Okay, so that's where the whole too much of a good thing idea comes in. You got it. Our liver is doing its thing, producing what we need but then we add in the cholesterol from food and that's where we need to be mindful. Makes sense. And this is where I start thinking about those blood test results with the HDL and LDL. What's the difference there again? So HDL, think of that like a garbage truck. It picks up the excess cholesterol in your blood and takes it back to the liver. Okay, so it's like the cleanup crew. Exactly. Now LDL, that's more like a delivery truck. It carries cholesterol to different parts of the body. And that's the one that can cause problems if there's too much. Right. If there's too much LDL hanging around, especially if you're also eating a lot of unhealthy fats, it can start to stick to the walls of your arteries. Like, imagine those delivery trucks just piling up on the highway, causing a traffic jam. Okay, that visual is really helpful. So how does that, like, physically affect us? Well, that buildup, that's what we call plaque. And over time, it hardens and narrows the arteries, making it harder for blood to flow through. Oh, so that's the link between cholesterol and heart problems. Exactly. That whole process is called atherosclerosis, and it can lead to some serious complications like heart attacks and strokes. See, this is why I wanted to do this deep dive. It's one thing to know that high cholesterol is bad, but understanding the why behind it, that's powerful. I agree. Knowledge is power, right? Yeah. And it's empowering to understand that we have some control over this. So for someone listening who might be thinking, okay, this is kind of freaking me out. Where do I even start? What would you tell them? First of all, don't panic. Knowledge is the first step, and you're taking that right now. The most important thing is to talk to your doctor. Get your cholesterol checked, understand your numbers, and then work together on a plan. And that plan could involve... It often starts with lifestyle changes, things like diet and exercise. Depending on your individual situation, medication might also be an option. But again, that's a conversation to have with your doctor. Okay, that's really good advice. Now, I have one last question for you, and this is something that came up as I was reading through all the research. It seems like a lot of the focus is on animal products being a major source of cholesterol. Mm. But does that mean all animal products are created equal in that sense? That's a great question, and honestly, it's a bit of a rabbit hole. There's a lot of debate about different types of fats, different ways of raising animals. It gets complicated quickly. So it sounds like something worth exploring further. Listeners, that's something for you to ponder, and maybe even do a little research on your own. And who knows, maybe we'll even do a whole other deep dive on that very topic someday. But for now, that's all the time we have. Thanks so much for joining us today for this fascinating deep dive into the world of cholesterol. Until next time, keep asking those questions. Absolutely. And stay curious about your health. And don't forget to check out our show notes for links to some of the research we talked about today. See you next time.